Hi all, today we're going to talk about the thought of the media theories Marshall McLuhan. McLuhan Mames idea is that the medium is the message. This means that media and technologies are not mere means, but they shape our relation to ourselves and to others. They change our consciousness and our forms of association and action. Media and technology shape the human, the human body, and human subjectivity, who we are. For instance, the railway created new kinds of cities and new kinds of work and leisure. This technology is sending our field of action and allow the performance of new activities. For example, electricity led to a transformation of what we do, how we do it, and the scale of our actions. McLuhan is another critique of an instrumental conception of technology. He criticizes instrumental understandings of technology such as firearms are in themselves neither good nor bad. It is the way they are used that determines their value, since they totally ignore the nature of the medium of any and all media, which changes the form of our existence. In this example, a firearm makes a path of action clear and ready at hand, that is, shooting a target. Another key concept of McLuhan is that we live in a global village. Not only we became more interconnected, the point is that we are now involved with everyone and everything. The technological extension of bodies is replaced by the creation of one integral technological and psychic milieu. Might not our current translation of our entire lives into a spiritual form of information seem to make the entire globe and of the human family a single consciousness? But he also observes the risk of this integral psychic milieu. The extension of consciousness has also heightened it human awareness of responsibility to an intense degree, creating an age of anxiety. Is the internet this global village where we are involved with everyone and everything? McLuhan wrote long before the internet was developed. Are his views applicable to today's internet and related digital and electronic technologies? Is there a sense in which the internet has extended our consciousness and shape our perception? Has the internet created a more integral awareness? Do we now live in a global village? And what are the consequences for responsibility, given that human existence has become a global affair? Do we live in an age of anxiety? What do you all think? With regard to current electronic devices, consider McLuhan's claim that, like Narcissus, the gadget lover becomes fascinated by an extension of himself, involving him in a state of numbness. McLuhan connects electric technologies with the hope of a more integral way of life and experience. But contemporary electronic technologies seem to divide rather than make whole, dividing us, as the less will say, into measurable parameters divided up into data that are then sold. So one could object that the new media are used for commercial purposes and that people are exploited, rather than integrated into a global consciousness and awareness. Furthermore, bombarded with an overload of information, we may not develop an attitude of global responsibility, but rather one of apathy. That's all for today. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to answer the review questions number 4, 5, and 6 and the discussion questions number 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 of Introduction to Philosophy of Technology, pages 49 to 50. Submit your answers on Brightspace no later than June 30th at midnight. The corresponding assignment is already available on Brightspace. Have a good night. Bye.